Converses and inverses of conditionals are not logically the same thing, and that was the content of this problem to show that P implies Q is not logically equivalent to Q implies P, or not P implies not Q. So in order to do this, we just construct the truth table for P implies Q, it's converse Q implies P, and it's inverse, not P implies not Q. The way that we construct this table is pretty straightforward, right? So we just build up to more and more complicated statements, uh, and then once we get to the conditionals, we just use the conditionals uh, definition where we plug in the hypothesis uh, and consequent as required. And that's what these arrows sort of show which direction you're going from hypothesis to consequent. Uh, at the end of this, you'll find that in the second row and the third row, uh, the converse and the inverse disagree with the original conditional, uh, which is why they're not logically equivalent. If you want more practice with this, you can go ahead and look at the similar statements with the biconditional. So P if and only if Q, Q if and only if P, and the corresponding inverses of each.